Hi everyone, I'm Coach Levi. Hi, I'm Cheyenne. And we're here to bring you your CrossFit Cure at Home workout for Saturday, March 28th. So I'm gonna take you through the movements. Cheyenne's gonna demo for us today. So let's get started. We've got a nice uh, long warm up today. Let's we're, do it. All right, we're gonna start with 20 punters. So go ahead and face this way, demo a punter. Kicking up, opposite hand and opposite leg together, thanks. Then we will go into 20 walking lunges. So stepping down, keeping that knee over that front heel and stepping up. You can walk these or you can do them in place just as Cheyenne is demonstrating for us. The next thing we're gonna do is 20 woodpeckers. So this is kind of the opposite of that punter. You are hinging forward and trying to keep a nice straight line all the way from shoulder to heel. Thanks Cheyenne. Next is 20 hurdle steps, AKA T-Rex walking. You're gonna step like you're walking over a tall hurdle. And Cheyenne puts her hands there to make it feel like she's a T-Rex. I'm a T-Rex. It's good if you make noises when you do it too. <laughs> All right. That was a cat. Next is 20 butt kickers. So bringing the knee forward, bringing the foot right up to the butt. You can do these fast or slow. And then we're gonna do 10 side shuffles each way. So shuffling to the side and she's noticed she's in a low athletic pose. 10 side shuffles each way. The next movement is 20 steps in the duck walk. So duck walk, you're gonna get into a low squat and take small steps forward, making sure you're stepping heel toe, heel toe. Great. Then we're gonna go over to, uh, you can go to a door frame. We're gonna use this upright right here. You're gonna do a tricep stretch. 30 seconds each side, and then a chest opening stretch. And then before we get into our shoulder circles, we're gonna do 10 inchworms. Stepping out, inchworm, she is walking out. You can have the option to stay in the plank, do a push up, or do a stretch at the bottom, and then walking back in. Great way to scale these is to step out a little bit wider and just walk part way out. Still will give you that great glute, hamstring, calf stretch and warm up the shoulders. Next to warm up our shoulders a little more, we're gonna do some shoulder circles. So 30 seconds each way, backwards and forwards. And then we're gonna finish with 30 seconds of hip circles. Good, and that's 30 seconds each way as well. So that's our warm up, nice long one. Hopefully you are warmed up for our wad, which is five rounds, four times. So you will complete five rounds of the two following movements and you will record your time in sugar wad. The first movement is a 400 meter run. So go ahead, go out and run. If you're not sure how far, how far 400 meters is, it should take you anywhere between a minute 45 and two and a half minutes. So if you wanna just run out and back uh, for a total of two minutes and 15 seconds, um, you can do it that way. Uh, you can also scale the distance and just run for time. If you are unable to run outside today, we can alternate one minute of jumping jacks with one minute of high knees. And you can substitute, substitute a minute of each for your 200 or for your 400 meter run rather. After our 400 meter run, we're gonna grab a barbell. If you don't have a barbell, grab a broomstick. We're gonna do 15 overhead squats. She's gonna get her grip nice and wide, lock her arms out and go down into that squat, keeping her chest high and back up. Great, so this is a great uh, tool to use to keep those overhead squats light, but still work that full range of motion. If you wanna get a little weight, you can grab an object such as, we're gonna use a 25 pound plate here. You can use a heavy backpack, press that up overhead. And same thing, she's getting into her squat stance, down and back up. If you're unable to overhead squat, you can always take it into the front rack and do a front squat rather than an overhead squat. So it's 15 overhead squats after your 400 meter run. Those are the two movements. Five rounds, 400 meter run, 15 overhead squat, four time. So we look forward to seeing you record your time and scales in sugar wad. Once you get done, we will go into our cool down. The first thing we're gonna do is a hurdle stretch, one minute each side. So she's gonna get down on the floor, put one leg out in front, twist one leg behind and lean into that. Great, so hurdle stretch on each side. After that, she's gonna go into a couch stretch. So we've got a box over here. This can be your couch. You can also do this against the wall. The one foot goes up, she's gonna lunge down. And the goal here is to stretch this hip flexor, this quad here. You can press back further against the wall. 
Um, you can move your knee out. There's a lot of variation you can use for the couch stretch. If that's uncomfortable, you can do a standing quad stretch or you pull your foot up behind you. The last stretch today is a standing straddle. So it's just gonna step out nice and wide, hinge down, hang out here for one to two minutes, and then she's done. Great job today, Cheyenne. Woo! Thanks everyone. We look forward to uh, seeing you next week at the gym. Thanks guys.